in a world where nothing seems normal anymore. One thing is constant. Asian families. So you call him Papa? In this unique series, we enter the lives of four middle-class families. In these changing times... If you don't like me, you can get out of this house. Relationships are not that straightforward. <laughs> and traditional roles are reversed. <coughs> if he's not my husband, I don't think I will hire him. The truthful exploration of family life. <laughs> How do Asian families cope? On a new season of The Family Affair. When I got divorced, I call myself very lucky. It's like breathing a new lease of life again. After a failed first marriage, 48-year-old Silas Yip was happy to stay single for more than a decade. But six years ago, he decided to take the plunge again. With 37-year-old Elisha. For both, it is a second shot at happy ever after. This is actually a second marriage for myself and Silas. We do not have any kids from our first marriage. I was actually fine not having a kid. I have a career and we could just go holiday as and when we like. <laughs> the guy told me, oh, at your age, your sperm is not active. Some of your sperm don't have tail. Some of your sperm don't have head. It's not swimming actively. So I said, oh, okay, fine, never mind. I think with or without kids, it's okay. Meet six-year-old Jethro and four-year-old Victoria. Both of them are unplanned. I wasn't prepared at all. Okay. Some 30,000 jobs have been lost. Another few hundred are expected to lose their jobs this year. I'm 48 now, so um, people in the heavy industries, they are actually more in favour of uh, getting younger workforce, especially in sales. Silas was retrenched two years ago when his employer was hit by falling oil prices. That actually really forces me to make another drastic choice that I have to go into somewhere that is much more sustainable to be able to support my family. In 2016, Elisha founded a startup in one of the most profitable industries today, financial technology. Silas's wife, is now his boss. And then to input the information so that we can do the financial analysis. I want to do a simple due diligence. I don't want to go to a big consultation firm. I don't quite understand what they're talking about, due diligence. Do we need to be diligent about something? But I can come into this page, take a look and then click on okay. the miss, miss information. Things such as um, processes in ACRA. Maybe it's my fault that we shouldn't put a member. That's what I was telling you for members. I look at it as an entity. 
strike off of a company for incorporation, which I have to restart all over again. From this fish buyer to come in. For the last 20 over years, never before would I imagine myself getting into a finance sector. To be honest, if it is not my husband, I don't think I will hire him. <laughs> Silas now has to impress his boss, even on Sundays. I think I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> Moving stuff, taking stuff, basically doing an errands. It's not only Sundays, it's like anytime and anywhere. What are your working hours? Uh, 24 hours. What are Silas' working hours? Um, officially is Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. Unofficially is any time. <laughs> <coughs> She's a damn workaholic. <laughs> Why do I have to work on Sunday? Because you are the most, most muscular man in the uh. company. Wow! I have Silas. a heavily pregnant woman. You cannot ask me to move. Ask her to move. One of my staff is a holiday. A holiday? Yes, two other staff they are two meeting. Two staff meeting clients. Yes. They had disagreement with Elisha. And of course, there are always the temptation, the feeling to, to give up. No, I don't care about it. I want to walk away. I have to push myself, just like a 20 year old person, all over again. To be honest, I do really get tired. But. I don't really dare to actually display that in front of my family and wife. I wish I had more stamina. <laughs> Meet 40-year-old businesswoman, Winda Retonga. Even on her day off, she is still working. Okay. Winda runs a successful travel agency. Eh, jangan tebel tebel ini. Enggak, itu belum. Ya, iya. Bener ya. Iya. Soft aja sekarang siang siang. Mau dibikin kayak apa? Mereka carry. <laughs> boleh boleh boleh. Apa Britney Spears? <laughs> jangan jangan jangan. Dah. Hari ini saya depan semuanya, depan Bu Winda. Saya mau ngucapin selamat ulang tahun buat Bu Winda. Panjang umurnya, sehat walafiat. At her birthday party are Winda's nearest and dearest. eldest daughter, 16-year-old Lisa. Only son, 14-year-old Bintang. Six-year-old Ling Ling. Three-year-old Ocha. And a husband, Arnez. Bertubi-tubi dalam hal bawel ya, <laughs> mengingatkan ini itu sepertinya saya diperlakukan seperti anak kecil. Istri saya ini orangnya sangat percaya diri ya, itu yang paling dia milikin paling besar, paling kuat. Presentasi apa? Grafik, grafik naik turun. Uh, dari mulai grafik sampai presentasi. Ya. Ya. 
Harga terbatas. Uh, mungkin seribu kali ya. Kaget aja. Ternyata dia seribu persen. Kan baru mungkin tadi. Oh, baru mungkin. Dikurangin lagi ya. Realisasikan cinta itu menurut saya adalah memberikan perhatian uh, dalam hal pekerjaan, memberikan masukan, nasihat, dan mengawasi setiap hari tidak tidak pernah berhenti. Wujud reali, realisasi cinta saya ya seperti uh, memberikan perhatian sama anak-anak di saat dia tidak di rumah. Kalau Islam itu harus menurut suami, tapi kalau suaminya yang kolot, yang pikirannya masih istri harus di rumah, nggak juga, itu pasti nggak berkembang istrinya. Iya, mendukungku 100%. 17 tahun baru ini dia menyatakan cinta. Today, 36-year-old Vikrant Misra is getting married. I was having all these jittery moments, a little bit nervous, a little bit excited. His bride is 32-year-old Lavanika Pati. I think I was a little nervous because that's when it finally hit me that uh, getting married. Whatever your income is there, you have to handle to your missus only. Only then she will come to your left side. Everything that belongs to him is mine and everything that belongs to me is also mine. So that's like perfect. Works in my favor. Are you accepting it? Yes. I do. <laughs> But Lavanika's mother is less upbeat about this union because this is her daughter's second marriage. For us to adjust and accept these things will take a while. In India, divorce rates are soaring, almost doubling in the last five years. Every marriage has its own turbulence, but till about our generation, we would live with it, you know, we would make that marriage work. But I think this generation believes that, okay, fine, if it's not getting along, let's not pull it further. There's a lot of people sitting on the fence, waiting for us to go wrong. And between both of us, we're very sorted what we want out of this marriage. We want a happy family. This marriage also comes with complications. Vikrant is now a stepfather to Lavanika's five-year-old son, Raga. I was even okay with Raga. I interact with him on a daily basis. I was playing with him. But at that time, I was just a friend. Over in Beijing, China, 68-year-old grandmother Yu La is finding it hard to get excited about a family photo shoot. The family photo shoot reminds Yula of her husband, Liu Lianqing. She spent six grueling years taking care of him when he was stricken with cerebral palsy. Yongyuan没有人跟我说话. 
单身老人，我这还从来没想过这个问题。对，嗯，他们这么长时间了，他们都没说过。那您自己孤独吗？我很需要一个靠得住的肩膀，很需要。Kids are anticipating it. They've been asking me every day, "Is it today? Are we having painting today, tonight?" <laughs> Back in Singapore, Silas is preparing for a fun night out. Let's go. But when they get to the door, Let's go. I don't... I'm ready to buy office. Let me office. Can we take something? Can we start? For Vicky, I can say, ah, she's still in the tantrum stage, the the horrible four. Mummy, my medicine is seven feet me. Do you want to help me? Oh wow, okay, thank you. So tiring. <laughs> yeah, it's really very tiring. Well, I'll just go to my room and hide. Yeah, because sometimes you need to have a break. Food is the easy way to pacify her because she she just loves eating. One bite only, ah. One bite only. Promise. Bye bye. She will need to wait. So the anticipation that she she have while waiting to get that food, to buy that few, maybe one two hours, I think will be quite enough to resolve the situation there. Okay, okay. Mummy, I want you. I want you. I want you. Mummy is a daddy's princess, so only daddy can handle her. <laughs> But what happens when Silas is offered a dream job that will take him far from home? Grandma Yula has been through some tough times. But recently, there's a change in the air. The mouth is the bottom part. It's a bit thicker. But the bottom part is a bit thicker. I found that my grandmother has been suffering from her face. Her face and her face and her face and her face. 啊，都有一个变化。你看看怎么样？嗯，非常自然，不能再高了吧？像你这样。原来可能随随便便穿个衣服啊，肥肥大大，最近发现穿的干干干干净净的，非常合体。高那高一点。嗯，他说过我，他说我的嘴唇是不是很薄？嗯，他说他喜欢厚嘴唇。嗯，每次画我就画高点嗯，好心人给介绍，有了新朋友。现在有了新老伴儿，这多漂亮呀！哎呦，还不是你手艺好吗？哎呦，还是
，我们心里头充满了就是憧憬对未来美好。呃，虽然是老两口，每一天都是灿烂的阳光。Grandma Yula met 71-year-old Meng Xianwu six months ago, and love is in the air. There are currently 220 million elderly in China. Like grandmother Yula, over 60% of seniors don't stay with their adult children. For Yula, old age brings new love. Look at me. Gwaadiyah 我单独十年，共同的经历，让我们走到了一起。你刚才是那位了，让你提什么？我我我把香蕉给你搁在里面吃。<笑>现在我知道了，原来那个不管什么年龄的，只要是异性，她男朋友、女朋友，她的爱情和历程都是一样。我都跟你说过吧，咱们俩火葬场，天堂见。<笑>你说吧。我跟你讲，二十年以后吧，你天多也就是。<笑>干嘛非得二十年？我就不能活二十一年啊<笑> ！In order to be closer to boyfriend Meng Xianwu. Yula bought a second-hand house. They're planning to move in together in a couple of weeks. Okay. 就那样设计。白色窗，把那个一发出来，你这个宽了一点。这还弄一白色窗？你以为你是小青年啊？哎，好。其实你说买白色的，其实我心里也觉得很浪漫。你要不喜欢的，咱那……喜欢喜欢，我都没敢说啊，白色的。其实也是刚知道她找这个男朋友，刚开始的时候，她还没直说，她好像只说她要买房。现在回想起来，应该就是，其实那个时候是因为认识了一个人住到那边，对，所以她才想在那边买房子。工程师说设计说要打开了，把墙给打了啊！这个动作可不小呀。这个没事，这个在这上面。那行，那行，里边一个，外边一个，到时候我们也方便。我多多少少还是有点担心。这个，这现在的话，不行。反正就是觉得行不行啊，靠不靠谱啊，能不能正常的在一起啊，这种担心
within the next 10 years you'll definitely get a ring i promise you that yeah it's an inside joke yeah i just reflected on how much money we needed for the house right now and i said you know it's just a ring it's okay to aise ek to jagah hai jahan pe pura switch but our priority was to put in money into the house and get that completed the misras have moved into their new home a week after the wedding ye piche ke kone mein yahan kone mein yahan par to yahan ban ke dekh lo Yeah, I was just wondering when the furniture is going to come in because I really, really need the couch now. And I told Vikrant that uh, I need a house. I need Raghav to know that this is where he will belong for the next couple of years. Lavanika and Raghav used to live at Lavanika's mother's home. This is the first time five-year-old Raghav will have his own room, and he's also adapting to a new father figure. Can I be the father that he was looking forward to? Maybe not. Neither then. Okay, Raksh, listen. I can jump till my bunk bed down, and I never die. You think I? You will be killed. Never. Whatever he wanted. Whatever he thought of in his room, I have tried giving it to him. Check on balance. Okay. The happiest event in that one week was uh, when Raghav got his bunk bed. Okay, what is the best thing about this house and about moving here? Uh, my bunk bed and mom. And what is the worst thing? Wicky snores. <laughs> Vikrant was very nervous because of Raghav. Because how will Raghav react to the entire thing, and what will their relationship be? So I think that was his biggest fear and my biggest fear. But somehow we never ever spoke about it. We never spoke about. It. So what is our nameplate going to be? Raghav in the middle. Okay. Mama over here. Okay. Near me a lot. Okay. And Vicky even farther than me because he snores very loudly. I still remember when I told him that uh, I was planning to remarry. He sat me down and he said, uh, first he told everybody to leave the room. He shut the door, and he he asked me that Mama, do you think this is the right decision? Are you in some kind of a hurry? Do you think Vikrant is the right person for you? Will he be a good father to me? I was in tears for a five-year-old to be asking me those questions. Even my father didn't ask me those questions. Patty cake, patty cake, bake man, bake. Since the wedding, Raghav has been calling his stepfather by his nickname, Vicky. Bake man, cook. Ah, that hurts. Look at Mama in my eyes like that. We need to decide what are we going to call Vicky. What are you going to call him? Chaat papri. Chaat papri? Hmm. No, 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 no. That can't be. Chaat papri. No, no. We have to find a. If your friends will come, will you say hello? Meet Chaat papri. No. Meet Papa. You'll call him Papa. Do you think he'll be happy? Happy, excited. How will he feel? I think he'll start crying. Yeah. He'll be so excited. Yes. So you'll call him Papa. Okay, I'll call him Vicky. I don't even know. I can't call him Papa. He's not my Papa. I'll call my Papa Papa, right? No, no, no. But we need to. Just don't be distracted. Eyes on me. Quickly. So you're gonna call him Papa? Is it final? All the time. And we have to respect him and love him, right? Now this is our transplantation. You respect your papa? Yes. You love your papa, right? So every time now you have to respect him. Is that okay? Hmm. Kahan? Ajay Bhaiya. Ajay Bhaiya aa raha hai.
Where are you going without me? How will I come down? Help! Hey, hi there. Yes, Silas here. Just uh, I'd like to check that uh, this uh, Vietnam position will require 50% of the travelling time. Silas is finally being given a chance to have his own career again. So every two to three weeks I'm doing away for one month. For this um, new job offer itself, well, it does require me to travel quite intensively to Vietnam. So just to find out if there's an, any local Singapore position, it's not planned yet. Okay. My boy, he's six years old, and my girl, four years old. I don't want to miss their growing stage. I really need to consider very carefully. It's time for Silas and Elisha well, to talk about their work opportunities. And they actually offered me a job. With this not posting like that, I have to travel every few weeks like that. Very disruptive, in a way. And uh, I actually don't feel, don't feel comfortable. But it's normal. If you don't take this job, how, how are you going to find another job in Singapore? I really needed that extra income from Silas because the kids' education costs about 2 k a month and we have a car loan and also for the housing loan, which is around 1 k I was really, really upset. Um, because financially, he is not being very responsible. I'm paying for the car, I'm paying for the housing. I know that. I have to manage a business. I have to manage um, the household finance and we are now doing a fintech platform. At this stage, we are spending quite a lot of money. So what happens is that all the expenses actually are being paid from our saving. I really worry, really worry that if my children were to grow up and I tell them, I work so hard for you while I'm in Vietnam, they say, but I don't get to see you. I think that will really break my heart. Winda and Arnez used to work as print journalists. But their combined salary of 700 US dollars was not enough for their growing family. So Winda decided to start her own business, Winds Tour, a boutique travel agency. Soon after, Arnes joined her company. Hello, saya Winda. Ya, isi untuk hari ini. Selamat pagi semua. Hai. Sehat enggak? In seven years, Winda grew her company, earning over 200,000 US dollars per annum. Women like Winda are a rarity in Indonesia. Only 37% of Indonesian women work. And women entrepreneurs are an even smaller group. Kita mampirnya nanti di Grafika Cikole ya. Kalian boleh bermain di Cikole. Ada outbound, ada rumah hobbit, macam-macam. Thank you, selamat pagi, selamat menikmati, Bu. Terima kasih. Ya, selamat pagi. Ya, alhamdulillah ya. Sekarang ya, syukur banget lah. Bersyukur ya luar biasa. Kita bukan orang kaya raya, bukan kita bukan konglomerat, tapi saya mensyukuri bahwa kita bisa berada di sini, posisi ini. Ada yang di dalam kita tuh ya? Coba didiemin dulu. Apa? Diam dulu deh, diam dulu deh. A bigger income has allowed her to employ two nannies for her youngest daughters, Ling Ling and Ocha. So Winda can spend more time growing the business. Hello, Ocha. Aku lagi mandi. Aku lagi mandi. Kamu kok tadi nangis sih? Aku pergi. Kamu jangan nakal ya. Udah mam belum? Belum. Ah, belum. 
Kok belum? Oh mandi dulu. Siapa <laughs> nih? Oh Iwan. Nanti mami telepon lagi ya dek. Ya menurut kamu aku bukan ibu yang baik ya? Aku cuma khawatir anak-anak. Kalau kekurangan perhatian nanti jadi bandel yang udah besar. Ya aku juga pengennya di rumah tadi meluk-meluk dia, nyium-nyium dia. Tan. Kalau kak aku nggak pergi coba. Biar gimana kan kamu ibunya. Jadi mau nih dulu ya. Mami kerja ya. Mami kerja bentar. Memperhatikan secara keseluruhan rumah tangga dalam mendidik anak-anak dan mengawasi dia memang agak kurang. Karena memang sudah jujur ya memang saya khawatir. Aku yang gila kerja, aku yang workaholic tuh aku emang. Aku tuh kalau diem sakit. Kayak istri-istri yang lain gitu, di rumah ngurus anak, dapur, suami gitu. Nah, aku nggak bisa begitu. Coba percaya apa belajar mendelegasikan, belajar mem mempercayai anak buah untuk mengerjakan hal-hal yang yang penting gitu loh. Aku lepasin, aku tinggal santai-santai ngantar anak sekolah. Aku juga pengen sekali-sekali nganterin si Ling-Ling sekolah. Sampai gurunya Ling-Ling itu nggak kenal sama aku. Sangkanya mamanya itu si Umi. Most families in Jakarta take over 10 years to pay for a house. But the Ritonga family have done it within just three years. Thanks to Winder's business. But the family has outgrown the house. This is where 14-year-old Bintang sleeps. In the family living room. With only three bedrooms and one bathroom for a household of 11, Winder thinks an upgrade is long overdue. Itu aku takut jebrot jatuh loh Pi. Ingat yang di belakang Umi ketimpa itu Ethernet gabruk jatuh nimpa. Kemarin aja udah hampir masuk banjir. Direnov ke apa gimana? Ya justru Papi. Makanya itu butuh duit. Lagi tapi kemarin aku udah ngajin yang becak aku mau batalin. Kalau bicara minjem. Uangnya itu minjem, ya, kurang aku nggak setuju. Ma. Tapi kalau kita uang itu dari nabung, lamaan ma. papi mah. Aku udah di SS sama BCA, tapi tinggal ngomong kan rekening aku di BCA. Ah, BCA udah nawar-nawarin mu. Kamu nabung, nabung aja nggak yakin. Terus kenapa cicilan kamu yakin? Kalau cicilnya nih dengerin ya. Kalau nah, suami saya tuh nggak mau. Berarti target kita harus lebih besar lagi. Kerjaan kita harus tiga kali lipat lagi. Mungkin itu. Karena ada. Rencana, manusia itu harus punya rencana. Iya. Rencana yang benar, bukan rencana yang ngutang. Gue mau utang di bank sekian ratus M. Itu bukan rencana kalau kata gue. Iya, papi. Baca Musa, temen-temen mami pada kayak gitu. Ya, ya jangan. Ya, jangan ikutin. Nah, temen-temen kalau bangkrut gak bisa turun-temurun pengusahanya. Iya, anak-anak diwarisin utang, hmm. bukan diwarisin. Saya orangnya, walaupun saya ngelawan sama dia, tetap kalau masalah keuangan, saya nurut. Ya, papi mah gak ada habis ya, orangnya gak... So now I just want to make a routine that I cook at least one meal a day and all of us sit together and eat. A few days ago, the newlywed couple, Lavanika and Vikran, set ground rules for Raghav. Top of the list was eating 
and table manners. But minutes before lunchtime, Raga was determined to play with his toys. You whine and I take your toys away. You whine and I take your toys away. Okay, stop fighting. Chalo, let's eat. Let's eat dosa. Go sit in the room, wash your hands and sit in the room. The first 10 days, he had no idea when a man came over to him and told him, oh, you should not do this. There are going to be some rules. Raghav even okay, refuses to eat lunch with his stepfather. <laughs> we are eating there. Raghav, I am not going to eat food there. You want Mama to stay hungry? Mama has been waiting for you. No. No, we are not eating over here. It's very hot. It's not noisy. I have switched off the TV. As soon as the rules are set, the whining starts, the shouting starts and everything. It becomes a little, uh, uh, you know, I get a little bit agitated about it. Lunch finally happens in the master bedroom, the only space to eat in their unfurnished home. But the mealtime woes continue. <laughs> Only one sound you know how to make? Something better? Nothing else? Stop, stop. Right now, Raghav and Vikrant have these phases where either they're best friends or Raghav suddenly gets very angry at him and both of them and both of them behave like they're the same age. Is it late? You can't have my masala, sorry. You have to get up and sit. Sit down properly. So Raghav's been sitting like that and eating for the past four years. And no matter how much we tell him, he doesn't listen. And Vikrant is very fixated on the fact that he should not be sitting like that and eating. I'll eat it. No. I'll eat it. Then I'll stop you and eat it. Okay, try. Mama, I'll cut his thorn. Okay, go, cut. Stop it. My mama feed me nasty wine. Ajay, what did you what did you want from the tooth fairy? You should ask the tooth fairy for some more wine. We are ready to give you anything, but you cannot just whine over anything, cry over something and expect me to give it to you. I was not raised like that. Hello. Bad boy? Yeah, cool. Okay, have this bite, then I'm going to get. Why, why can't he get it himself? Because shoes are not here. It's a whole mitti. It's a whole mitti. It's a whole mitti. It's a whole mitti. What is your problem? Why do you both have to fight? Huh? You don't want to be saying that. Raghav is a big problem. Hello, hmm. hello, hello. अब तो दांत भी टूट गया ना ही तो ये बिग बॉय गैर भी भी वाइनिंग हुई हो स्टिल वाइनिंग बॉय और अब बिग बॉय आई थिंक स्टिल वाइनिंग आई एम रियली टोन बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ देम एंड आई डू नॉट नो हु आई शुड बी सपोर्टिंग एट दैट टाइम Ya aku mah enggak tahu enggak pernah naik. Kan dekat sekarang dia kasih tahu, ke sono ketemu dia, ke sini ketemu dia. In Indonesia, Winda is devastated by a revelation from her mother-in-law. Ya aku sih sama dia kesian, dia kan janda. Dia tahu justru kasihan itu, kan udah ngasih sinyal gitu. There's another woman staying at Winda's house. A friend whom Winda has allowed room and board. 
and she's become increasingly close to Winder's husband, Arnez, and their children. Yeah, tapi kalau terus terusan, Win, bisa aja kalau dengan cari perhatian terus.